Former President Donald Trump pressured his vice president, Mike Pence, to overturn his 2020 election defeat, despite being told repeatedly Pence had no authority to do so. That's what aides to Pence told the Congressional Committee investigating the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol on Thursday. Chairman of the House of Representatives Select Committee Benny Thompson said Trump continued his pressure campaign even as a violent mob of his supporters descended on the Capitol as Pence and lawmakers met to formally certify President Joe Biden's election victory. Mike Pence said no. He resisted the pressure. He knew it was illegal. He knew it was wrong. That courage put him in tremendous danger. Committee members reconstructed the events of January 6th showing how close Pence came to real danger as he fled from the rioters chanting, Hang Mike Pence, a gallows erected outside. Approximately 40 feet. That's all there was. 40 feet between the vice president and the mob. Among the mob, members of the far-right militia, the Proud Boys, some of whom are now charged with seditious conspiracy for their role in the attack. A recent court filing by the Department of Justice explains that a confidential informant from the Proud Boys told the FBI that the Proud Boys would have killed Mike Pence if given a chance. While several aides and advisors testified that Pence told Trump repeatedly that he did not have the authority to stop the vote certification, the origin of the idea was placed squarely by witnesses at the feet of attorney John Eastman. Eastman had argued Pence could reject results from certain states if he thought they were illegitimate. Former White House lawyer Eric Hirschman described a call with Eastman in a recorded video testimony. I said to him, are you out of your effing mind? Right. I said, I said, I only want to hear two words coming out of your mouth from now on. Orderly transition. Advisors to Pence, including conservative former U.S. Appeals Court Judge J. Michael Ludig, told the committee that idea had no basis in law. That declaration of Donald Trump as the next president would have plunged America into what I believe would have been tantamount to a revolution within a constitutional crisis. Trump has repeatedly denied wrongdoing while repeating his false accusations that he lost the election only because of widespread fraud. He is widely expected to run for president again in 2024. Witnesses warned that he would not accept defeat no matter the actual outcome. Donald Trump and his allies and supporters are a clear and present danger to American democracy. The committee showed an email Eastman sent to Trump's attorney, former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani, asking for a presidential pardon. Eastman never received one.